General Hospital is restricting visitors to try and control an outbreak of norovirus. Visiting times are being limited to just one hour a day to help minimise the winter vomiting bug. The hospital says the Health Protection Agency has confirmed cases of norovirus are currently higher than at the same point in any of the last five years. Bristol's famous Ardman animated dog, Gromit, is to start appearing all over the city next year. Around 60 grommets are being painted and put in prominent places around Bristol. Next summer, they'll be auctioned off to raise money for the Wallace and Gromit Grand Appeal at the Children's Hospital. Nick Park, Ardman's founder, explains the plans. The idea is that we build these giant grommets and we're going to send them to different uh, volunteer kind of artists from all over the world. Um, British artists, you know, really top line uh, British artists and designers and uh, many have agreed already to, uh, to kind of design and, and pet the grommet. These grommets are a blank canvas basically and they're all going to be um, placed all around Bristol to help raise money for the Grand Appeal. And now Richard Hoskin has all the lunchtime sport. India have reached 323 for four after day one of the first test against England. Spinner Graham Swan took all four wickets to fall, including the opener Veranda Sehwag for a run of ball 117. And Sachin Tendulkar for 13. Somerset batsman Nick Compton's been included in the England team for his test debut. Bath rugby prop David Wilson's been named on the bench for England's international against Australia at Twickenham. Stuart Lancaster makes just one change with Chris Ashton recalled to the starting lineup. And Bristol golfer Chris Woods finished his first round of the Hong Kong Open, two over par, and that puts him tied 74, eight shots off the lead. Thanks, Richard, and that's the BBC News in Sport. It's eight minutes past one. Travel. BBC Somerset. Latest on the road with Ben Williams. Thank you, Steve. Not looking too bad on the M5 heading past the Bridgewater and the Taunton Junction's all looking fine, as is the M4 as well. If you're heading through towards South Wales, though, M49, where it meets the M4 second seven crossing, just at Junction 22 beneath the motorway, uh, still quite blocked off on the roundabout there following an overturned skip lorry from earlier on. We are being told that recovery work is just about completing there. It's just clearing up the debris, so it shouldn't be ongoing for too much longer. Uh, still slow heading into Bristol on the Wells Road, inbound the A37 between the Airport Road and Broadwalk has got some temporary lights there slowing things up. As far as Bath is concerned, busy on the A4 London Road inbound. A303, that's looking at right now. No major problems according to Avon and Somerset Police. And still got uh, problems with a broken down train at Bridgewater affecting cross-country long-distance services. Uh, similar story on Fast Great Western as well. If you can update us on anything else, 0845 906 949. Steve Yabsley, BBC Somerset. Well, isn't it time we talked about the weather? We haven't done that for ages. And Gemma's with me in the studio. Hi, Gem. Hello. Your speciality. She went from knowing nothing about the weather a few years ago to being one of the premier experts in our region. That's very kind of you to say. Well, you I do know more than I do. Huh? Yeah, look at the competition. <laughs> no, you must definitely be in the top three, I should think. What's the one like at HPV? Very good. They're all good. They're all good. We've got something to bring to the table. Of course. They're more sort of party people, though, aren't they? Anyway, you know, rather than meteorologists. Well, I'm not a meteorologist. I know you're not. I'm a presenter. Yeah, you could be. You're very credible. I, I listened to you on the phone. You talked for three or four minutes.